Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable or disable the command prompt in Windows 10. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first method, if you are using uh, Windows 10 Professional or Higher Edition, I'm going to show you guys how to go through the Group Policy Editor. Um, this method will apply for Windows 7 and Windows 8 users as well. But on Windows 10, you need to be running Professional, Enterprise, Education, something along those lines. It will not work for Windows 10 Home Edition because you do not have the Group Policy Editor. But I find it to be an easier method, so that's what we're going to go through first. And it should work for a very large number of you guys, so we're going to jump into that method and we're going to start by opening up the star menu type in group policy plus match should come back with edit group policy go ahead and left click on that and make this window a little wider here and you want to navigate underneath the user configuration section and double click on the administrative templates folder that corresponds underneath the user configuration section double click on that and now there should be a system folder and just go ahead and left click on that one time and now directing our attention over to the right panel you want to locate a value that says prevent access to the command prompt and double click on that so if you want to disable access to the command prompt you want to go select enabled if you want to re-enable access to the command prompt select not configured so again disabled you want to select enabled basically so if you want to disable command prompt select the enabled option if you want to enable the command prompt set it to not configured or disabled they both have the same result in this case but again if you want to disable it select the enabled option so that's just the default what we're going to do for this tutorial we're just going to disable it but again I'm providing an option if you want to enable it as well so close out of here you would have to restart your computer and then the change should take effect. If you are running Windows 10 Home Edition or you for some reason cannot find the Group Policy Editor on another version of Windows, we're going to go ahead and open up the Star menu. Type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back with the Registry Editor. You want to right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you are prompted with a User Account Control window, select Yes. And before you proceed in the registry, like always, I would suggest creating a backup. So in the event that anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back in the future. And in order to create the backup, just go select the File tab and then Export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just put select File and then Import and navigate to the file location so again pretty straightforward and now we're ready to begin now that we've made our backup and that's going to start by double clicking on the hkey current user folder so go ahead and double click on that now there should be a software folder under here double click on that one as well policies double click on that Microsoft and then there should be a Windows folder keep in mind that if you need to pause the video at this time and take note of the file path that we've gone under it's at the top of the screen here each backslash indicates a different folder we've gone under up to this point so feel free to pause the video at this time and just take note of it and once you're here ready to go ahead and move on to the next step and that would be to right click on this Windows folder here select new and then select key now you want to name this key system, so S-Y-S-T-E-M, so again S-Y-S-T-E-M, hit enter on your keyboard, so it might say that it already exists, so in which case do not create it, however if you had to create it I just showed you guys how to do it, so I'm just going to go delete that new key, we don't need it in here, but since we already have a system folder in here, because we did the group policy editor method, it already created this subfold for us, and then over on the right side you wouldn't have this value in here because basically the group policy editor did this for us because we went through the first method but there's something in here that says disable CMD so I want you guys to create this in order to do that it's very simple you just would go ahead and right click in a blank area select new and then select the word 32 bit value and you would name it disable into capital D and disable and then CMD should all be capitalized and then once you've created it I'm just going to delete this new value like I said because we 
have it in here because we already went through the group policy editor method, but you would create this value if you did not do that method. So once you've created this value, you want to double click on it. Now if you want to disable the command prompt, you want to set it to number two. So pretty straightforward and a little piece of information as well. If you set it to one, it would disable both the command prompt and a bad script execution. And if you set it to two, it only disables the command prompt and allows for script execution. So just a minor point just to put out there for you guys. And you can just delete this value completely if you want to re-enable the command prompt permissions. So pretty straightforward tutorial here, guys. Again, you will have to restart your computer once this is done for it all to take effect. And that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.